Hey guys, it's SubSeekid here, and today I'm back with a, another After Effects tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do the RGB color split effect. Um, I'll quickly show you a preview of what of sort of like what is sort of gonna look like. Yeah, so I think that looks quite cool. Um, if you didn't see it that well, I've got it here, like paused on the frame, it happened and as you can see it's all like splitting up and it adds quite a cool effect, like emphasises a big shot or something or say the beginning of a feed, it looks quite cool so, boom, like that, it looks quite cool. So I'll just cross that off, so straight into After Effects, we're going to be using a plugin called uh, Twitch by Video Copilot. If you don't have it, go get it. Uh, there are other ways to do it, but the easiest way is the easiest way to do this effect is with this plugin. Um, it's so simple, really. I'll just show you, like, right now. So after you found your shot, I've just marked up my shot. So we'll just make this tutorial a bit quicker-ish. So I've just marked up my shot there, and after you found your shot, just type in Twitch. Yeah, can't type there like that. And video copilot twitch, not snappy twitch. So just put it onto your little thing, and as you can see, nothing happens. But that's all right because nothing's meant to happen right now. So you find your shot, and the shot is the first flash you see. So as you can see, nothing's happening, and that's the first moment I see the flash. So go frame by frame. Use page up to go back a frame page down to go forward a frame or you can just use these two buttons here like that so the first frame is there and what you do is if you just go two frames before that shot and on enable hit the stopwatch next to slide and it made a keyframe and if you just go forward two frames so now you're on your shot check the little box next to slide and you can see this if you open up operator controls open up slide and you can see the slide RGB split and if you just increase this a bit you can see it's starting to split it up and that's about it and if you just go to the top and just turn down the amount or something a bit so about there just play around with this and find the right settings for you really just depends how much you want it and as you can see it's normal and then boom 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 and it just carries on doing it and you're like oh my god what do I do so I'll t tell you how to stop that so if you just find your shot there as you can see it sort of starts to clear up again and as you can see this frames all clear if you just carry on a little bit again just a couple of frames you can see it's starting to split and do split more and as you can see it starts to clear again after it splits for the second time the first frame you see which is this one which is clear this is where you wanna just uncheck that slide box and as you can see if you just go through it, it goes boom 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 like that but you see there are just two splits there but when you ram preview it or when you see it it happens like so quick nearly like so quick that it just seems like it was all within the same shot so you can just like play around with it and find the right settings. So let's see. Yo. Like that, see? Now that I think that looked quite cool. And you can just play around and find the right settings for you. So and now if you saw in the preview, while he was running up and stuff, it was all black and white. And then as soon as he hits it it was like boom, colour split and it was like, oh my god, there's colour. And it means it just emphasizes it a bit more. So what you do is um, make a new adjustment layer. So layer, new adjustment layer, or control alt y. And what you do is just type in black and white. So color correction, black and white. And just drop it onto your adjustment layer. And as you can see, it makes it all black and white. And you're like, do, 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 do. Oh, no, it stays black and white. So what do I do? Um so you find the shot so you just go to your shot like there if you go one frame before hit 
click on your adjustment layer, hit T on the keyboard, it will bring up the opacity, hit this stopwatch, click page down so it goes a frame forward to your shot and just take that off like that so you can just see it just goes like so so it's black and white la 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 boom and it splits and, cut and the colour comes back on and just to emphasise it even more you can even add some colour correction so let's see um, and to do that you go layer new adjustment layer to make a new one so you've got another adjustment layer and just get your colour correction so you can put on curves levels saturation adjust or whatever I'm just gonna go with a preset I have in looks so I don't have to so you don't have to watch me just do loads of colour correcting and it's alright this one you don't it's, this one's alright I'll just use this one so you can actually get what I mean so as you can see now it's just like the colour corrections on the whole clip and you like oh no but I want the first bit to be black and white so to do that <coughs> find your shot so there and if you just go page up so you're one frame before that and then click on your adjustment layer the second one with the colour correction hit T on your keyboard <laughs> yeah uh, hit the stopwatch and then go one frame forward ah wait hang on let's start that again okay so we just so there's your shot so go one frame forwards uh, one frame backwards even so I'm just getting a bit muddled up so you find your shot there you go one frame backwards and on the stopwatch you hit the stopwatch and turn it down to zero and you just go forward one frame Skype call um, you go forward one frame and then just turn it up to a hundred like so so as you can see if you just like go through it black and white blah 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 boom just hit that shot like a boss oh no I say that a lot sometimes so that's that so if I just quickly ram preview it now la 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 la, boom <laughs> Let's let it preview. Now yeah, that'll be good enough. Go boom. Oh my god. Boom. And that looks pretty sick, I think. Like securing Bravo. Go. Boom. So that's pretty cool. And that is the effect there. So just render it out or like add some Twixter, add up some type of bass drop and make it look cool. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to use the other effects like in the Twitch plugin, like how to use the blur, color, light scale and time. Or if you want me to have a tutorial on Twixter like I did in the thing or sinking shots I'm making a shot sinking tutorial so that should be coming out soon as well so thanks for watching guys like comment and subscribe and do whatever you want to do so see ya